One of the issues in the Democratic primary has been Governor Hochul's stadium deal with the Buffalo Bills. Now, many community groups here in western New York had hoped the new stadium would bring more perks for the area, like affordable housing, a new rec center, and perhaps better transportation. And they hoped that would get done through what's known as a community benefit agreement, a CBA. It is a legally binding contract for the bills to make improvements and give back to the community whose taxes, as we all know, are helping pay for the stadium. Now, mind you, there are over a billion dollars in public subsidies going into the new stadium and still no CBA in place with a potential deadline of September 1st. Let's talk about that. Joining us now is reporter Jeff Kelly with our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post. Now, Jeff, you've been covering the topic of a potential CBA with the bills for the last few months. And in your most recent article that you published this week, you said that the leverage has been lost. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, it's not so much that it's been lost, Mary Alice, but it is diminishing. And for a couple of reasons, uh, back in January, uh, elected officials and community groups said a CBA is abs an absolute must, that it, it, approvals for the new stadium deal could not go forward without them. But last month, the approvals started to, to flow. Uh, money was allocated and the Erie County Legislature approved the Memorandum of Understanding. And in, in that respect, one side of the table is giving the other side of the table what they want before the negotiations have actually even begun for this community benefits agreement. So far, there have been no negotiations and none have been scheduled. Hmm. Can you lay out, though, what the best case scenario for a CBA with the bills would look like and when that when would that realistically expect to be? Well, it, as you as you said uh, earlier on, that there is a deadline by September 1st. Uh, all elements of the deal must be completed. Now, I've been told by Erie County Legislature Chair April Baskin's office that they intend to negotiate over the summer, over the next couple of months, to meet that deadline. Uh, and what they'll be looking for is, as you mentioned, uh, dedicated funding for housing, for community centers, for health clinics, for things like that. Uh, in order to get those things, in order to get what the community wants, they need to have community groups at the table. But those community groups have not yet been engaged either. Not yet, anyway. Jeff, do you think it's any kind of issue? Uh, the news we heard recently about Kim Bagula uh, being in the hospital, having some kind of serious illness, or do you think that the CBA would be really delegated to Ron Rakuya or others in the organization? In my understanding, what I've been told is that most likely it would be Ron Rakuya or, or a team led by uh, Rakuya since he's been sort of the, the, the point man uh, for the Pagula organization on negotiations thus far. And then on the other side of it, you'd have uh, a handful of county legislature, legislators, uh, a team with uh, Mark Polenkar's office, and of course, some people from the state. Uh, those are the parties involved. And again, ideally, I, I want to underline this, you'd also have a community group there, uh, but those, that community group, if it is going to be invited, has not yet been identified. I mean, the Bills have really a very active, supportive fan base in the Bills Mafia. It would really be a black eye, wouldn't it, if uh, the Pagulas didn't step up and help make this happen for the community as, as really a give back to a team that's been really faithful to them. Well, it'd be a lost opportunity for both sides, uh, for, the, for the Bills, I think. I, I think you're quite right. And also, I think, for elected officials and community groups uh, who see this opportunity, this huge public subsidy for this tremendous project, uh, as a, it's an opportunity, it's a moment in which we could get some things back, things that the community needs and wants, but which we otherwise cannot afford. Um, so, you know, the idea is, is that if we are giving public money, taxpayer dollars to a private business to increase their profitability, then maybe we should share in that increased profitability. And that, that idea has uh, been successful in other cities that have built uh, sports stadiums for, for uh, professional sports teams. But so far here, we're having, it's a slow start and we've got a deadline coming fast. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot has been made about the fact that the stadium's being built for the convenience of the Pagulas next to the existing one versus downtown, which we know would create a lot of spin-off benefit uh, for the city. But 
as it looks is not going to happen. But we know you are following this very closely, Jeff, and we'll check in a little bit later and look forward to your update. Jeff Kelly, you can see his reporting at investigativepost.org. Jeff, as always, thank you. Thank you, Mary Alice.